guys welcome back to a new video if you're new here my name is Anushka so today we're going to be doing a really special video I've actually asked some of my subscribers on Instagram to pick my makeup this is definitely a first for me but I really wanted um, you guys to take part in one of my videos and honestly everything that I've got mostly is brand new which I had to buy um, and order online so it's even more exciting because basically I'm just trying your recommendations as well so I'm really really excited and yeah let's just get started as always I do start off with my brows so we're going to start off with brows first hey Anishka so I want to recommend that you try a NYX brow pencil I've got the precision brow pencil and the micro brow pencil and I love them both so pick one and enjoy I do really love those um, products and I already did have um, a couple because NYX sent me a bunch of their brow products I have a brand new one here. Thank you so much Tambi for recommending that product. I have the NYX brow pencil in the shade chocolate. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna lightly fill my brows in. So obviously it took a few weeks for the products to come with like the current situation and everything but I, since I asked you guys and I had everything confirmed and I had all your videos sent in I've been dying to film this video I can't even tell you guys how excited I was I haven't been so excited for a video in a while you gotta love a good NYX micro brow pencil they're so good and so affordable and actually the shade chocolate is not too bad for me my brows are a bit crazy at the moment so I actually have two brow gels for this video. I picked um, two people. I didn't realise, but it was, I, I couldn't just pick one of them. So I'm deciding to have both um, people in the video because it, I just couldn't choose. I couldn't. Okay, let's do the first one. Hi, Anushka. I am Jenny from India. I have a beauty blog page called Style Fit with Janu. Uh, I love you so, so much. And I'm very happy to be a part of today's makeup video. And I've been your subscribers for a very long time years and I'm very happy that to suggest so you much. an eyebrow gel product today for your makeup video and I generally love uh, uh, Benefit eyebrow products and today I'm gonna suggest you to try Benefit Gimme Brow Gel and um, hope this makeup video turns very well and love you so much mm. oh. bye I love you too girl thank you so much for recommending a product and taking part in this video oh you guys are the sweetest honestly like I can't so she recommended the gimme the benefit gimme brow product I have the shade six obviously this is another product that I really really love this is what it looks like and it has the tiniest mini brush inside like this my heart is so full right now like those words mean so much to me you guys don't understand like. so the brow gel i have chosen is this sheen um tinted brow gel in dark brown or my backup is revolution just tinted brow gel in dark brown so i actually didn't have either but i can't easily get sheen products um during these times so i actually ordered the revolution pro um, volume and sculpt brow gel in the shade dark brown so thank you so much for recommending that product oh another mini brow gel could be like a benefit dupe I'm just gonna put on this one. Oh, it's definitely more pigmented for sure and darker okay okay I'm really happy I got this I love discovering like new affordable products I actually didn't have this so I'm gonna let you guys know if I do really like it but so far so good so Brows are done. Okay, we can now move on to skin. Okay, we got we got primer first. Hi Nishka. Um, the primer that I would like to recommend would be the Mac one, the Prep and Prime. Also, I love your videos. I love you, and keep doing what you're doing because you're doing an amazing job. Oh, thank you so much. Honestly, let me not cry. I'm such an emotional person. Okay, just don't don't do it. Um, but first of all, girl, your hair is so voluminous. I'm so jealous. Oh my god, your hair is so beautiful. Anyways, let's apply some product. I'm here with my sleek, flat hair. I wish I could have volume like you. Am I getting teary-eyed? Oh my god, I'm so emotional. So, MAC Prep and Prime has been a product that has been like a cult favourite, but I've never tried it. So, this is what it looks like. Comes in a little plastic tube and has a pump. Oh. That feels really nice. It 
feels like a moisturizer. Guys, so far I'm really happy with your recommendations. Look at that glow. It feels really nice. Just applying a bit extra because my skin's really dry. I can feel like a little bit of silicone feel in it, but you can't tell that much. Like it feels really hydrating. Okay, so I'm really happy with the way that feels on the skin so far. Um, again, if I do really like it, you guys will hear about it in my other videos. Let's move on to foundation. Hey Anushka, this is the foundation that I chose for you. Lots of love. Oh, you're the sweetest. Thank you so much for recommending that. I actually didn't have the NARS Sheer Glow. I threw mine away because there was barely any left in it and um, it was really old. So I went out and obviously I didn't go out physically, but I bought it online. Um, I'm in the shade Tahoe. Tahoe is kind of like my summer shade. The shade below Syracuse is a bit lighter, like too light for me. So I've always gone with Tahoe. It's more like a summer perfect shade for me. Like if I was going on holiday, I would bring this with me. But I haven't used it in like ages, like over a year now, I think. I don't know. And by the way, your skin was glowing, girl. The only thing with this foundation is that it doesn't come with a pump. It doesn't really bother me, to be honest. That's what it looks like. I haven't used this in so long. I'm so excited. I'm going to dot this all over. You can see there's a slight difference between my skin colour and the foundation shade. I'm using a Glam Doll 224 brush. I'm just going to blend this all out. Maybe I should just invest in Syracuse so I can blend it because this is warmer than I remembered. <laughs> I use Tahoe in all my NARS foundations. But with the concealer, it kind of just balances out. But yeah, it's quite, it's a bit darker, but you know, it can make it work. I've been getting so many blemishes lately. I don't know what it is. I think it's all the food I'm eating. I'll bronze up my neck later now on to concealer hi Mishka. thank you for choosing me so for your concealer i love to use you the born this way Too faced concealer um and my uncle is in golden beige i absolutely love it and i know you've used them before as well um by the way love your videos take care oh you're so sweet hon and yes i have used Too faced before i had the born this way foundation i've always wanted to get this and the reason why i didn't is because the shades weren't that right for me so i was always hesitating between sand and warm sand and there's a big jump between the two but i ended up going with sand but honestly i've been wanting to try this concealer for the longest time i've walked into a Too faced store twice to swatch this and then every time i'm just like nah i don't know if i'm going to use it but anyways for this video obviously i had to get it i'm really excited to try it and hopefully sand does work out for me ignore my brother he's playing a stupid game his stupid game upstairs and screaming and yelling this is what the product looks like and again i got the shade sand oh it's got a really fat doe foot applicator oh wait sand hang on sand sand i'm telling you i rarely use products that are called sand <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's gonna work for me it's very similar to my tarte shape tape color and it's gonna make the foundation like you know match me a little bit better i'm using it on my lids as well using a damp sponge oh my god that just blended so beautifully why is my sponge so cold I'm really tempted just to put a little bit more, but honestly, I don't want to because that, that is sitting so nicely on my skin. I don't think the coverage is insanely, like, full coverage like the Tarte Shape Tape because I can see some of my darkness under my eyes, but it's sitting really nicely. It's actually very thin as well. Put a little bit on my forehead, my nose. You guys see how flawless this base is? really happy with that thank you so much for recommending that concealer and actually pushing me to get it because i've been wanting to get it for the longest time and do i see myself wearing this yes it looks so smooth under my eyes it hasn't gone dry or patchy it blended out really nice so yeah if i do really love it i'll and there's no like major creasing 
um, I'll let you guys know, obviously. Um, but I know a lot of people do love this concealer. Now onto powder. Hi Nishka. So the setting powder I would like you to use is the Vici Derma Blend Setting Powder. I've used it for years and I swear by it. Oh, thank you so much for recommending that. And it's actually quite interesting because I have never tried Vichy makeup. And this is definitely something I wouldn't really reach for. So this will be an experience for sure. So this is what the powder looks like. It's kind of like a translucent setting powder. Oh, it comes with a little sponge. I might use that. I get really scared using powders that are like white like this. But I know it's a translucent powder, but mostly with like translucent powders, I haven't had like like white ones. I've never really had the greatest experience. The lightest powder that I think I've used is the Kat Von D setting powder, which is very, very like light. But this is white. So hopefully there's no flashback. But I trust you, girl. I trust you. Let's camera kind of focus. Okay, I'm just gonna dip my little sponge in it. Do a little baking with it. Set those small lines in. I want this equipment giving me a hard time. Okay, I'm just gonna blend this all away. It's very fine. That went off quite well. It didn't leave like a white cast or anything. It looks extremely smooth under the eyes. I feel you. I feel the love for this product. We will do a flash test to test all this makeup out afterwards. The tea. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Okay, now on to bronzer. Hi, I'm Anushka. So today I would be recommending a bronzer to you. And the bronzer that I would recommend is from Women London. And this is the bronzer. Uh, yes, I'm about to finish it. And uh, it is in the shade number 022 uh, And uh, this really gives a subtle and matte finish and it really complements my skin and that is the reason I really like it a lot and I really hope if you use it that you like it too and uh, so it's Oh, first of all, your eyeshadow is amazing. Love the colour on there. Yes, and I, I can definitely tell you love that bronzer. So I went out and got it. I don't think I've tried it. I've only tried the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder that everyone used to use. And I got the shade Sun Bronze. And it looks like this. Okay, let's try this then. I didn't think this was going to be dark enough, but I can see a subtle, you know, bronziness going on here. You can definitely build up on it. Oh, it smells so nice. It smells like moisturizer. Just kind of bronze up them boobies. Oh, look at that bronze glow on my chest right now. A bit on the sides of my nose. Okay, that blended really, really nicely and showed up pretty well on my skin, actually. Blonzed up my chest and everything. It's not like as dark as I usually like my bronzers, but you can definitely build up on it. So I'm happy with the way this looks. Now to blush. Hello, Nishka, Trisha here, and I want you to use uh, L'Oreal Paris Love is a Beach blush for your makeup look. And I want to tell you that I really, really appreciate all your looks that you have been doing since now. Oh, thank you so much. That really, really means a lot to me. Thank you for recommending the L'Oreal blush. I do really love this and I already had it. Um, I feel like everyone needs L'Oreal Lives a Peach blush. Here's a little close-up of it. Gosh, my nose is so itchy. What on earth is going on? Okay, I'm just going to put that on my cheeks. All right, that's blush done. We're gonna move on to highlighter now. My favorite highlighter is this Revlon Skin Light in Daybreak Glimmer. It's amazing, gives you a beautiful glow without the glitter. Yes, I love that glow without the glitter. I'm so subtle when it comes to highlight, honestly, and I can see you've got a beautiful glow there, hun. So I can't wait to try this. This was one of the first products I actually ordered. I got this on Amazon. Again, it's like another product that I wouldn't like, you know, pick up automatically. So I'm really excited. Look how stunning this looks. Okay, no joke guys, I love my base right now. And I just feel like, you know, we, we got that relationship that if something didn't work, I can say it and you wouldn't take it badly, right? I just feel like we're, we, we're cool like that. But again, luckily I haven't had to do that so far. 
yeah that is definitely the kind of highlight i like look at that there's no like specks of glitter it's not going ashy my nose yeah i really like that a little bit more no that is so girl you know me you know me okay i really do like that it's definitely one i would use like on a day-to-day -day basis like when i'm going to work it's really natural and it just gives that you know inner skin like glow and the shade is like perfect for me as well oh and the shade i got is um Daybreak Glimmer, which is the one she recommended. Okay, I guess we can start on eyes now. Hi, honey. Thank you so, so much for letting me participate in this challenge. And the eyeshadow palette that I've picked up for you today is the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm excited to see what you come up with. So, yeah, good luck. I love Niche so much. She's the sweetest girl ever. And thank you so much for recommending that palette. I actually do already have it and love it so much. Mine's actually it's quite old and it's been well loved for sure i don't know what look to go for i think because i've got like an orange top i want to keep it like orange i'm really tempted to do like an orange like smoky liner i'm just first going to take the shade called golden ochre and we're just going to set the whole lid with this and as you can tell the shadows are so pigmented and then with the same brush, I'm going to just take. I'm just going to take a little bit of raw sienna, which is just one of my favourite shades in the palette. And I'm just going to shadow my crease a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit on my lower lash line as well. And you see, just a little bit of shadow into the crease, just to like frame the eye nicely. Then I'm going to take a really compact, flat brush and use the shade Real Girl, which is like a bright orange. I'm just going to pack this on the lash line. I'm gonna put a little bit on my lower lash line. This is definitely different. I don't usually do this, but I'm kind of digging it. Even though like I love doing my bold looks, I do like finding like new ways to do like really like wearable subtle looks using a bit of color still. I feel like this is one of them. Okay, now we're gonna move on to mascara. Hey Anushka, hope you're doing well and hope everybody in your family is doing fine. I just like to say that this is a very nice thing that you're doing, you know, in recognizing your subscribers and giving all the love back. The category that I got was mascara and I would like to say that my favorite mascara will have to be the L'Oreal Lash Paradise and I'll be happy to see you using that in your video. And um, so yeah, keep up the good work that you're doing and keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you so much, Han. I hope you are really well and your family are doing well as well and keeping safe. I actually really do love the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. Um, I, I, your packaging looked really different to the one I'm used to. Um, I had to actually be purchased because I can't like find mine. This is like my third tube. But yeah, this is the Paradise Ecstatic um, Mascara. It's the only one I could like find in the UK when I searched on Google. But yeah, I'm a huge, huge fan of this mascara right here. And the wand is like perfect. Can you tell why I love this mascara? That's mascara done. I love this. I forgot how much I love this mascara. Um, we are going to be wearing lashes today as well. Hi Anushka, I hope you're well. Thank you for letting me choose one of your products. I recommend you using these tighter lashes in TR4. I love using them and hopefully you will too. I look forward to seeing your video. Love you. Bye. Oh, I love you too, hon. And your makeup looks so stunning. Thank you so much for recommending those lashes. I haven't actually tried Tarty lashes before. It comes in a really cute package like this. These are so my type of lashes. And these are actually quite affordable. Okay, those went on pretty well. And I'm really happy with them. They're extremely fluffy. Okay, now we can finally go on to lips. Hi, my favourite lip liner is the Morphe lip liner. Um, this is in the shade Sugar Pie um, and it's a really nice nude and it goes perfectly with my MAC Oil. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much for recommending that product. Um, I don't know if you're wearing it but I do like what you're wearing on your lips. So I'm really excited to try this. I feel like this liner will be right up my street and I've never tried Morphe lip liners. So again, I'm really excited for this one. Oh, 
have I not tried this before? It is so creamy. This is so creamy. It's honestly so satisfying applying this. I could just wear this on its own. Oh my god. 10 out of 10. I love this. I love this. Thank you so much for recommending this to me. We also have a lipstick. Anushka, I hope you're well. So the lipstick I would like you to use is this one here by Fenty Beauty. It's called Uncuffed and it's the one I'm wearing today. Hope you like it. First of all, your makeup be looking so beautiful. I don't know why I put this voice on when I'm hyping others up, but I just do it all the time, 24-7. It's just the way I am and I feel like we should all uplift each other. So if you don't like it, click out. But honestly, I wish I had that golden hour sunlight through my house, but I get that sunlight nowhere in the house, so you're so lucky. But honestly, your makeup looks so bomb, and I haven't tried Fenty Beauty lip products ever, so I'm really excited for this. I actually bought this on Boots. It took forever to come because I feel like Boots have just been crazy online, but it came eventually, and this looks so stunning. Gosh, the packaging is 10 out of 10. It's so beautiful. So I do have the shade Uncuffed like I was recommended so we'll apply this now it actually goes with the lip liner really well okay so the shade is so stunning definitely one I would actually wear I'm just gonna let it dry a little bit it's so thin and it feels really comfortable and I actually really like the doe foot applicator it just makes the application Oh, so convenient. Okay, whilst that's drying, we also do have a setting spray. Thanks Anushka for featuring us in the video and I would like you to recommend to use this NYX Professional Matte Setting Spray. It's very comfortable and long lasting. Thank you so much for recommending that setting spray, hun. I actually always use the dewy finish. I've never used the matte, but we have to, you know, there's always a first for everything. This is what the product looks like. I can never go filming without dropping something i always drop something this lip so comfortable all right that is it for today's video this is the final look i've got from all your recommendations thank you so much guys for taking part in this video and for picking my makeup i love it like you can't say this look didn't turn out great okay it looks so beautiful i love everything i love everything i will do a flash test however but everything looks so smooth primer yes a uh, foundation i loved it i'm happy i got it again a uh, concealer definitely a yes so far i don't see any creasing it's sitting beautifully under my eyes and on my nose it's not drying me out the powders just smoothed everything up um the highlight the bronzer all worked really well as well obviously i do love the mascara and eyeshadow the lashes are so stunning. I don't actually have fluff, like extra fluffy ones like this. So thank you so much for recommending these. I might have to get more tarty lashes. Um, I did also have to like trim them a little bit like I always do. Lip liner, 10 out of 10. I'm so happy I've discovered that lip liner. It's like the perfect shade. The lipstick is bomb as well. The setting spray, I don't know, but it's see my face does feel set in place and obviously i do love the brow products clearly um the only new one was the revolution brow gel my brow is more held in place on this side where i used the revolution one um than this side where i only have gimme brow but i do like that feeling of having it set in place so i definitely like the revolution brow product but yeah, I want to say thank you again to all of you. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do so. And if you want me to do a part two, I'll put a poll here. Do vote. And if you do want to see a part two, make sure to follow me on Instagram because that's where I reach out to you guys to take part into the video. Um, but I wouldn't mind doing another one of these. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And thank you guys again for taking part. Love you guys lots and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!